So as you can see, I added a whole bunch of uh, rebar on this 1946 Dodge uh, roll, uh, roll cage. And uh, the reason for that is I'm trying to keep it from racking. I'm about to uh, lower the whole entire chassis onto the ground and then take the roll cage out of the cab and drop it so that I can do all my welding. And so I wanted to make sure nothing twists. And the other thing I wanted to do right now was to take a bunch of measurements to make sure I get it exactly back to where it was. So uh, one of the things I did was I took a mic and I measured down onto the mounts on each end like that. Um, and I wrote that number down so that I can get that back. I put this straight edge, which unfortunately I don't have a five foot straight edge and I measured underneath of that and so that got me my height so now I have four, four points on each corner of how high I was and I was really shocked because I was within five thousandths of an inch didn't expect that I put this uh, square on here and I'm going over seven inches and I'm making a line so that I get this line back up and then the other thing I'm doing is I'm catching it the other way so that I get it both directions. And I did that in four places. I did it here and here and on the other two sides. And so that way I get it centered. And then I can put these, these jacks back in when I'm done and get everything reoriented. So hopefully I'll get right back to where I'm at right now because I, I like it where it is right now. The hood lines up. And that's what I'm really after. So I'll get back to you later. So what you're looking at is the roll cage is lowered. Uh, I don't condone the uh, improper use of uh, scaffolding or jacks or concrete blocks or anything else to lift stuff up. So uh, don't copy this and don't blame me if you get hurt or uh, possibly die. So uh, I think uh, ancient aliens came and set this uh, rigging device up. So I'll show it to you on the side. Okay, so it looks like the uh, chain is connected to the rocker arm by a couple bolts on each side and the chain's going up over some two 2x4s two onto the scaffolding and uh, then what else then the frame was let down and then an uh, 8 inch concrete block was jammed between the frame and the cab just for extra support just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and then you can see that the cut is right there that's the last weld on the top on each side and you can see down below, you see that? You can see that that's the last weld. Well, not the last weld. Two of the last welds, one there, one on the other side, and one in the front, and one on the other side. And then when it's jacked back up, then I have to cut the back of the cab up because the back of the cab's all, it, it's just uh, lap welded back there. I don't like who did that. I don't know, they did a bad job. And I'm going to cut that all out and then weld the last two welds in the middle and put a new piece in the back of the cap. So that's it for now. Okay, so I made these uh, brackets here and I put this piece of tube back on the bottom of this so I can get rid of some of these washers and it stiffened this up a lot. Uh, I also made these flanges up here and that'll continue up to the um, firewall and connect the cage to the front. And uh, then back over here, I still have to cut the back of the cab out and connect these and put a piece of eighth inch in this whole area here. And I found some feet over here that I'm just going to leave in here. And I'm going to leave these funny looking things in here forever because uh, they really hold everything where it's supposed to be. And if I don't have them in there, everything kind of shifts a little bit all the time, even though I have it bolted tight. And uh, then the other thing is the things pretty much welded in. I got welds like everywhere and the hood lines back up again. So uh, now it's time to uh, finish the cage off and cut the back out of the cab. So I'll catch you on the next video.